Today's question comes from Cardiff, UK. Tristan Perry asks a fun question. Hi, Matt. Could you give any insight into the sort of hardware and or server-side software which power a typical Googlebot web crawler server? What a fun question. So one of the, the sort of secrets of Google is that rather than employing these mainframe machines, this heavy iron, big iron kind of stuff, if you were to go into a Google data center and look at an example rack, it would look a lot like a PC. So there's commodity PC parts. Um, it's the sort of thing where you'd recognize a lot of the stuff, you know, from having opened up your own computer. And what's interesting is rather than have like special Googlebot web crawling servers, we tend to say, okay, build a whole bunch of different servers that can be used interchangeably for things like Googlebot or web serving or indexing. And then we have this fleet, this armada of machines, and you can deploy it on different types of tasks and different types of processing. So hardware-wise, they're just, they look, they're not exactly the same, but they look a lot like regular commodity PCs. And there's no difference between Googlebot servers versus regular servers at Google. You know, you might have differences in RAM or hard disk, but in general, that's the same sorts of uh, stuff. Now, as far as server-side software, um, there's a little bit of a joke at Google that says, we don't just build the cars ourselves, and we don't just build the tires ourselves. We actually, like, vulcanize the rubber on the tires ourselves. So we tend to look at everything all the way down to the metal. I mean, if you think about it, there's data center efficiency, um, there's, you know, power efficiency on the motherboards. And so if you can sort of keep an eye on everything all the way down, you can make your your stuff a lot more efficient, a lot more powerful. You know, you're not wasting things because you use some outside vendor and it's a black box. So Google tends to use a lot of, uh, you know, Linux-based machines, Linux-based servers. We've got a lot of Linux kernel hackers. And we tend to have software that we've built pretty much from the ground up to do all the different specialized tasks. So even to the point of our web servers, we don't use Apache, we don't use IIS. Uh, we use something called GWIS, which stands for the Google Web Server. So, you know, by having our own binaries that we've built from our own stuff and building that stack all the way up, it really unlocks a lot of efficiency. It makes sure that there's nothing that you can't go in and tweak to get performance gains or to fix if you find bugs. Um, so that's just a little bit of a view of hardware and software side as far as what goes behind Googlebot and crawling the web.